Now is it going everybody? Spike Daddy here. Welcome back to another episode of Fear the Butter. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. I am having a great day today. So last time we went out, we looted a shotgun messiah kind of over down yonder there. We did we started this part of the ramp here. On top of we uh, moved a couple things around inside of here, as well as we moved the generator up here. We still haven't hooked it up yet, which I'm hoping to finish today. And but I just finished doing this right here, kind of off camera. So we've got freaking entrance way to the base now, and it's all awesome. Everything is freaking awesome. Everything is awesome. So yeah, and the Mahuzel. Today is all about electricity. Today is all about getting everything done inside of here. On top of hopefully getting lights as well, because we are in desperate need of a good horde base, which is what this one right here hopefully will become. And we need it well lit. We need it lit up like the stars in the sky. We, we, well, actually more like the sun. We need it freaking bright as all crap. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring you guys in to do the, uh, to do the intro here, I need to actually kind of go through and I'm going to wait for some of the stuff that are here to cure and kind of get these right here actually fully uh, upgraded because I hate it when they're not, you know, matching. And it should it. Come on. So anyways, guys, I will bring you back when I am ready and I've got some, uh, some stuff configured. Hopefully we'll have the blade traps hooked up or something. But I will see you guys in un momento. All right, folks, I am back. I think we have a wandering horde, maybe. Oh, yep. Okay, never mind. They're gone. They're gone already. So these right here haven't fully cured yet, but they're freaking close. I'm waiting for all those to cure. All the top ones over here have cured. So what I did is I got some lights in here, and I wanna I wanna do a quick just just a quick test. So it's just gonna be a quick hookup test. Is all it really is. I just want to see how bright it actually is in here when it's dark. So we're going to turn the light off. It's going to be a little bit dark for a second. But then if we go on here and we turn it on. Yeah, I think that's really good. I actually like that. That is definitely really nice. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could. We could put one like right here. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's It's still off. It's still not dead center. It's dead center here, but it's not dead center this way. So this will work for now. I think. I think that's. I think that's a good. Uh, a good shindig of a thing there. So let's go ahead and kind of leave that how it is. Now I do want to. So since. Okay, so we do have a decent amount of dukes back at the other base. Now. Unless we find, like, a really, really, really good AK-47 parts, or an AK-47 in general, we're probably not going to spend that much stuff on everything. Because I kind of took a look at our gear, and we already have really good stuff. Like, it would it would have to be, like, a high 550 plus uh, bandit chest piece, gloves, boots for me to even replace it. And I don't think I'm even going to replace these because these things right here are too away from perfect. So we're, I think I think we're good as far as the trader goes, really, outside of selling a bunch of random crap we have and slowly improving all of our other weapons, like the SMG, the AK-47, the sniper rifle, even though we do have a couple sniper rifle parts. Where's the other one? Ah, there it is. So we could use that to improve the sniper rifle that we currently have right now at the other base as well. But... I kind of want to do solar stuff, you know. I I I really I really do. I really want to do uh, some solar stuff and put that to use. Uh, I think we only need three, don't we? I don't want I don't want to favorite it. Go away. Uh, one, two, and three. We can jump up here. So I was originally going to turn this into a small little crop plot up here, but honestly. We can just use the dirt over there for the time being for it. And once we get to a certain part of it, we're going to have so many meat stews in that that we're really not going to utilize them all. So what I want to do is I want to get it set up 
to where we have... For the time being, at least. A switch. So, what is that? That goes over... What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, six over. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, right here, if we put one of you there. Okay, so if we actually go from that corner... I know they're actually right here is where they are. So, let's... uh. Let's pick this one right here back up. Come on. Thank you. And right there. And right there. Do I really need to put that there now? I don't even know if I do. Here, let's let's do this real quick. So let's go from... Can I go from you to you? From you... Up to you. From you... Over to here. From you. All the way over to here. And you can go to there. And then we'll do another one from here. Over to here. Now, the reason why that I'm doing this is because I am going to come down inside of here now. And I'm going to... Clip these. So now we just got that one little wire right there. So now if I take you, and I go down to here, and I go to uh, you, let's go ahead and let's turn that on. There we go. And if I go to you, this right here just kind of hides the wires and it's up and out of the way. So if we do a lot of the electrical up top there, we don't have to really worry about, you know, all the ugliness and all that stuff like that. Because I do actually kind of want to paint this place. <laughs> As funny as it is. I, 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 oh, god dang it. There, whoa. See, a little bit of desync there. A little bit of lag. Come on. You can jump up here. You've done it a hundred times. There you go. There. So now, look at that. We got the lights. And the only way that we see is that goes from here to there. It's perfect. But we also need to make some blade traps as well now. We only need four more, so we should be fine. Should have enough, right? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so we'll make these. We'll get those set up. Now, we do need to... Let's see here. We got seven left. We're probably going to need more than seven. Let's go ahead and let's make a couple more of those. That was quick. Okay. So... As far as where this right here goes, so that's one, two, three, so that's three over. So if we come on down here now, so that is what? So that's like three over, so that should be like right about, like seriously, like right about here, I think. Or like right over here somewhere. So if we actually have it go from, well, shoot. I kind of want the switch, but I don't want it on this wall. That's the that's the that's the only problem that I have is I don't want it on the wall, or the wall over here, I should say. Actually, no. You know what? Every horde night, we'll, we're gonna have to have the blade traps. It's not gonna be like an option. So if we got one, so that's the corner one, two, three for that. So it's got to be right here then. So if that's it, let's go. Oh crap, but you know what? The problem with the problem with that is is now if we want the lights on, the lights are on a switch. Shoot. Okay, so we still need to have a switch then. So let's do this. Bam. We go from there to that one. That one. All the way down to you. Oh, so I was right with it being actually right here. Oh, it's got to go right there, yeah. So we'll just we'll just pick this one right here because I I kind of want it to somewhat actually be. I want I want as little wire showing as possible, if possible. I know that's not going to be the case down there because we're still going to have all the wires going to whatever and whatnot. But at the same time, 
If we can make this part look a little nicer. So that's... So right here is actually where it's at. Alright, whatever. Uh, we need to, uh... Clip all of these guys, I think. What the crap? I don't know why you're still sticking out like that. Okay, how are you guys? Nope, you guys are still attached for some reason. Let's clip all you guys. Clip you. Clip you. I said, come on, clip you. Okay. And... Huzzah. Okay. So... Ah, boy, this is, this, is, this is where I come into the dilemma of it all. So there's a, there's a couple things that I guess maybe I can bring to... A little bit of light shedding is we could do this, okay? So, we could essentially block all of these right here in, you know, like, kind of like so, or whatever like that. And it would be shorter in here, but it would definitely hide all of the wires. And I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. But, just in case we have to do repairs, I'm pretty sure I can put a hatch here still. So let me, let me, let me test that out real quick. So if I have a hatch, if I do this... And do this. I do this, and I do... On... Oh, nope. That's... On phase. I can do this, and I can still access those. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. So that'll cover that part up, at least. And I guess the other benefit of doing that is if we actually hide away other relays inside of here... Like in the inside here, and that we can easily attach lights because it'll just be rebar frames inside of here we can just attach the lights to. So I think that's what we're going to do. It's going to take a lot more resources than what I'd like, so it's not a quick, you know, piece together sort of thing. That actually needs to be upgraded. Any others need to be upgraded or repaired? Oh crap, I got steel on me. Shite. Any others need to be upgraded? You know what? We need to upgrade you, though. I know that. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked repairing stuff now. Um, <laughs> so I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to make sure that we've got enough of these guys. So I am going to actually kind of put you right there. Let's go down to the center of you. We'll put you right there. Put you right there. Now as far as the center... Okay, let's just, let's just go back to the center of this one right here. Into here. I guess we'll go there. And maybe we'll go, what is that, four, four, five, so right here. So that, that looks good, right? Yeah, I think that'll work. That'll work just fine. And what do we say, five? So there's four, five. Oh, and then you're actually literally right there. Okay, so that actually should be enough right there. So let's go make some more, uh, let's go make some more rebar frames really quick. Uh, you need wood, don't you? Uh, you're good. I, see, I don't like putting a lot of wood in here because then I forget about that it's going. And then it ends up screwing me later on. Uh, we're gonna need a lot. Let's do like 150 of them. Come on, cook up the faster stuff. Alright, let's eat some bacon and eggs. We're not low enough for meat stew, and we're still doing good on the wellness, of course. Oh yeah, I forgot. I made more jars. So we'll have to go take a quick little trip and uh, go hook that up real quick in a bit. Okay, now we got more of those. Uh, you know what? Let's make more relays as well. Because 
because we'll always want our lights on at nighttime, so we'll actually just tie it into this switch as well. So we'll have to make sure... Okay, so I know what we need to do. We need to come back down here first and foremost, and we need to unfortunately break this hatch. Because right there is the switch for over there, so let's pick this relay up. And we're going to put the relay there and the relay there. This one right here is going to be for the blade traps. This one right here is going to be for the lights. I mean, electricity is difficult. <laughs> I swear. <clears throat> Alright. We got more of those. Huzzah. Let's actually grab some of this. And let's make some hatches. Because I want scrap frame ones. Or scrap iron ones. So let's just make like... I don't know. We're going to need quite a few. Let's just make 20 of them. If, if we don't... Wow, that was fast. If we don't need them all, we can always just put them back in the forge. <clears throat> so, for the blade trap, we'll go to that one. <clears throat> and we'll go to EU. Yep, so that's directly below it. And then we'll go back up here. We'll go to the switch. And down here. And like a so. And then we'll take you and put you there. So you go to there. And then that's going to hide it so nicely. So that's going to be freaking fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and place all of these guys right here down, guys. And uh, get it kind of configured on how I want it to be configured. And I will bring you guys back when I get this all kind of laid out. Alright folks, I am back. I just got done wearing up the, uh, the the relays, at least for the blade trap. So right here's the blade trap one. It's going to go over, goes to that one, goes to there, goes around a big old circle. And the whole point of that right there is then the relays will then feed off to these guys right here. So we will see some wires. Like for example, if we go here to you, you'll see a little bit of wire coming out of there. But it's not going to be as, you know, as, as dumb looking as what it was earlier. <laughs> So, we should be kind of in the clear there. I'm going to use this corner one, actually, to do these corner ones. Because we should have enough power in that generator to run all of this stuff, possibly. I'm hoping we do. If we don't, then we'll have to just add another generator on, and the generator will just be for the lights, because I'm pretty sure that the amount of... So let's see here. So if we got 24 and we times that by 2, that's 200 or that's 480. So 480 watts plus each one of these is 1 watt. So I, I don't see it going above that. And honestly, I don't see it going above as far as the lights upstairs either. But when we get lights down here, we might have to kind of change that out a little bit. So, but this one right here, of course, goes to here. So we're going to we're going to go in reverse order. So you see how the electricity is running from right to left this one right here is going to go from left to right so it's going to go clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise i hope that's that doesn't hang down far enough does it i don't think so i forgot to put the rest of these up real quick so let me do this real quick here like i said we will have a lot of hatches in here but that is just in case because well like like what happened uh, last episode, guys. Or not last episode, but the Horde Night episode. We were sitting right over here in that. A cop blew up while we were standing right here, and we still got hit, which means everything that's in the vicinity over here could still potentially get hit. So if these things right here break, it's going to destroy the connection to all of these guys. So that's why we're going to have we're gonna have some stuff on repair, I think. And there's an airdrop, which we should probably go get. Because we are getting a little bit low on first aid kits. We got two here, and I think we got four inside of the chest. Because so we don't have a blood draw kit with us right now. All right, let's do the whole uh, let's do the whole wiring thing real quick. Let's see where where are we at? So that goes there. Let's run you down over to here. And this this is gonna look so nice in that when we finally get it all done and done. I'm just. I'm doing all of this right now before I uh, I waste all the concrete to upgrade it. There. Now these right here can also feed into lights that we'll have inside of here as well. So that will be fine. 
So I think, I think that's all. So let me go ahead. I know for a fact I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade these guys real quick. Like, boy, I really hope this doesn't add any kind of like weird weight or anything like that to the freaking, uh, what you call it. I gotta be careful here so I don't upgrade uh, anything to steal on accident. I mean, we could essentially just leave it like this and not even worry about the uh, the hatches, honestly. Because, I mean, they're kind of nice being recessed like this. Oh, darn. You know what would have been really cool? If we would have done these as plates and made it look like drop ceiling. And have all the electricity up in the drop ceiling like an actual building has. Yeah, that does kind of look kind of dumb. Not going to lie, that looks kind of dumb having all these holes. But at the same time, I don't see any freaking wires aside from the ones that we hooked up to the blade traps. I'm kind of digging that, guys. I'm digging that a lot, actually. Huh, what are you? You got anything good? A skirt. I will scrap it. Scrap the skirt. All right. So we just got to remember that the outer ones are for the blade traps. And the inside ones are for lights. No, no, no. Thank you. No. Oh, God dang it. I redid that one. Okay, so let's go to you. To you. You know what? Let's... No, god dang it. Stop it. The delay, I swear, is so bad right now. It's not like I'm playing on the server either. I'm legitimately doing this on single player. Alright, so this one right here was also for blade traps. We'll go to you. Uh, you know what? This one over here might actually be closer. Yeah, this one right here is closer. So let's go to you. To No, I... Wanted to right click on that. And you over to here. And then you over to this one. Yeah, that's fine. And then you to that one. Oh, oh, let's let's go outside and put the other blade traps up, shall we? I completely forgot about that. Shoop shooby doo wah. Dooby doo doo boo. All right, uh, last blade traps. We're gonna go from right there, 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 and there. Hallelujah, it's a thing. We now have all of it awesomeness. And because I'm here already, let's do that. Let's pick you up. Upgrade you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Upgrade you guys. Corner. Okay. You guys should all be cured. Nice. Sweet. All right. All these right here upgraded too. Nice. Oh, it's coming along. It's coming along. Perfect. Did I not upgrade those? Crap. Oh well. Whatever. Alright, so let's go finish hooking up these blade traps. And then I guess we'll take a look and see what kind of uh what kind of load we've got going on here as far as uh the requirements for electricity. And you're going to that. Perfect. Alright. You know what? We got steel. Let's go ahead and get these guys right here upgraded as well. There we go. Any others? Yep. You. 
Ah, and we're out of steel. All right, that's fine. That's okay. Okay, so now we should be able to go upstairs here. We should be able to kick this on. What are we pulling? Wow, holy crap. We're pulling 526 watts. We're, we're literally like 42 watts short of completely maxing out the power. But they are all going. Yeah, buddy, right? Every single one of them? Yes, sir. Ha 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 ha. It's good. However, we are definitely going to have to uh, do something about the lights. Shoot. Maybe we should go to the trader real quick and see if we can maybe... Uh, no, crap, because we have to go all the way back to base over there. Oh, crap, we'll have to... Well, I guess we'll have to do that maybe at a later episode or maybe later on during the daytime. Holy crap, it's almost day 42. Day 42, I'm pretty sure, is the next Horde night, right? Yeah, because day 35 is the next one. Add 7, you got 42, so yes. Son of a gun. That's kind of nuts to think about, to tell you the truth. But that's okay. But since we're doing that, oh, you know what? We actually don't have a, <laughs> we don't have a crucible. We should probably make one of those. We should actually make a couple of them. Um, what do we need to make for a crucible? Okay, so we've got those. We just need the, uh, we need you and we need you. Crucible, go ahead and make two of them. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, crap. No, I shouldn't have gotten rid of all those, because now we want to put lights up. I need the lights. We don't need mechanical parts for lights, though. But I do know that we need some forged iron going on here. Holy crap, we went out, ran out of that stuff pretty quick. All right, as far as the lights go, let's see here. So, I was told that the simple light is, like, the brightest light. So, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to craft one of those. Craft one of those. I'm going to craft one of those, and when it's all said and done, I'm also going to craft one of these industrial lights as well. Because the industrial lights is kind of nice, because it kind of puts it like on an angle. So if we do this up in the corners of the little inner part there, it should work really well. Hopefully. Because I, I still want to set up spotlights or something like that for the outside. That's that's my my goal, is to do that. Even... Even if we have to do, like, a surrounding perimeter sort of thing. Even if we have to, like, go out over that way and build a little tiny small little tower with a spotlight shining down over in this area so we can see them. Or something like that. Or maybe we'll just do it outside of here. I mean, we still got to put iron bars up here. Don't don't get me wrong. I, I still want to put iron bars up because I, I don't trust. Because when, when regular spider zombies, that's all fun and dandy and that. They're going to get killed by the blade traps. But the irradiated spider zombies, those are the ones I'm actually worried about getting up top here now. Of course, that's if we ever get them. All right, and I want to make one of those. So unfortunately, we can't really do this test right away. We actually kind of have to wait for... Uh... Oh, I can't add that? Why? Oh, it's because I got stupid stuff crafting. That's so annoying that you can't do that. What is it? 220, 222? Sure. I'll put the other crucible in there. Let's go ahead and put like 20 minutes worth, I guess, or so. And let's flat out just do all of that. And let's grab some more iron. Do that. We'll actually pull you out. We'll put that clay in there and call it good. Sweet. We're going to get a lot of screamers, I feel like. Okay, so let's go down here. So over on this corner right here, let's do the uh, the little tiny... <laughs> Jesus Christ, really? It's only that big? <laughs> That's what she said. So let's do like the little bulb that could right there. We'll grab the industrial light. Let's move you. Like right there. Let's take the fluorescent light. 
then we're going to move you right there. Take the, well, we kind of already know the output of the dome light, but I kind of want to give it another fair shot, you know. So then let's take you. That is going to the blade trap, so we need you to actually go to you. Now oh, that shows a little bit of light. Oh, well. And we'll have you go to you. Oh, that's a good amount of light right there. Yeah, that one definitely shows off a lot more light than that one does. I know that for a fact. Um, and let's do you right there. That does more of a directional light. So I think that'd be really cool for in here because it shines outward more that way in a comparison to the fluorescent. So see, this right here actually reaches out farther. And then the little light bulb that could. Mother freaking hell, that's brighter than shit. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, you weren't lying. You were not lying when that is the brightest freaking thing. Man, if we put one of those, like, right here, we put one, like, right over here, one in the center, and then one over here, and then one over here, and that, that would actually be, like, perfect. God, that's so bright. Why is that so bright? Is it because it does, like, a... Oh, crap. Does it do the 360 degree, like, a freaking, like, a, like, an orb? Does it brighten everything up in here? Hold on. If we turn these lights off, does it shine through? Kind of. I just, I, I hate coming up here in that, and if it's like blinding light in here, you know, I just, I don't really care for that. We'll turn all those on. How are we doing as far as the light power goes? Oh, uh, it's because we don't have the po this on. We're still good. 546. That doesn't make any sense. That means we're still under it by a certain amount. That means something's not running. Did that sacrifice a blade trap? I wonder. No, all blade traps are going. All lights are on, I think. Yeah, all lights are on. Yeah, maybe we just have that amount of power. All right, let's see what the wattage pull is, though. Five watts. Five watts. I'm pretty sure they're all five watts, right? Yeah, five watts. Five watts. Okay. So they're all the same power. All right. Huh. Well, shoot. I mean, that one right there makes the most sense as far as, like, the brightness goes. However, as far as, like actual looks go this one or this one right here looks better that one doesn't look too bad either i guess we'll I will, we'll wait for dark let's let's wait for nighttime so i'm actually going to go ahead and do a quick little pause here then and i'll bring you guys back when it's like pitch freaking black out here and that and then we'll really see which one is the winner so i'm going to go ahead and actually turn all of these lights off i'm pretty sure that little bulb of freaking holy crap light is going to win out as far as the brightness goes in that. But I guess I guess we'll just kind of wait and see. So I will see you guys when it gets a bit darker out. Alright folks, we're back. It's dark. I'm going to leave my headlight off. So let's test these out. So let's see here. Here's the industrial light. Okay. Definitely a directional light. Definitely has the industrial kind of look to it. Like a definite point. I don't know if I'm a fan of that one now. Like, looks-wise, I love the looks of it. I love it. Not a fan, I don't think. This guy, I like the color of the light. Because if you notice between that one and this one right here, that's more of like a yellowish light. This is more of a fluorescent light. So they actually got the, like, the color temperature, I guess you can call it, done properly there. So let's go ahead and turn these guys off. Let's go take a look at our beloved uh, simple light which lights up quite nicely. Now these right here are just inside of this area. We can always move them outwards a little bit more, which will give them more of a radius. So that'll probably be pretty good there. And now let's go take a look at the super simple light. Boom. That's pretty bright. I actually like that quite a bit. Um, the crappy thing, of course, is the fact that, well, it's... It's not a... Uh... 
It doesn't fit the looks. <laughs> Excuse me? Ooh, Screamer. Oh, she can't see me. That's right, the whole light thing. I'm out of bolts. I forgot. I ran out of bolts earlier trying to snipe a stupid zombie. <laughs> I got an idea. Hold on. There's the noise I'm looking for. Oop. She's still alive? Holy crap. I don't think she's seen me. Oh god, that fog. Holy crap. That is a blue haze death fog if I've ever seen one in my life. <laughs> Alright, let's check this out real quick. I can't, you know, hold on here. It's, oh, no! Dang it, I thought it was going to work. Oh, that would have been so cool if it would have worked. Alright, let's go make another one of those real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, if you haven't seen, I also threw some of these industrial lights up here. Just kind of give it kind of a nice eerie kind of look, too, which is kind of nice. We can go ahead and let's leave those off, actually. All right, let's make another one of these because I want to I want to do a comparison between the dome light and the simple light is what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to find out, the you know, compare them somewhat side by side. So that one's right there. Let's do this one right here. Let's go ahead and grab you. OK, so if I take you. And I turn you off. You light up all the way out to here. So that would be equivalent if that other light lights up over to, over to here. Okay, so let's turn you off. Turn you on. So it actually looks like it lights up the actual same. Like, let's see here. That kind of stops right about that block area over there. And that stops right about that block over there. So it's actually the same brightness. This one right here just looks brighter. So this one right here is more focused that points downward. It doesn't actually light up the block it's on. So I'm definitely going to be more favorable for this light right here. So I think this one right here takes the cake, guys. So that's going to be that. Because I said so. <laughs> All right. So... I think with that being said, I think we got to go ahead to go ahead and put these guys up. However, I might have to move some of these things around. Because, like, right there would be a perfect spot for a freaking light, but I can't really place it there. So it's going to be off kind of kilter in that. So that's kind of annoying, actually. And I can't exactly just throw it there because it don't like to be there. As you can see. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I see. I think I see why, though. Like, if I actually set it right there... Oh, no. It still falls. Never mind. <gasps> dogs! 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 Oh, no, no, no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Get back. Get your freaking rear ends over here. Oh, I want a dog horde. Dang it. Oh, I wanted a dog horde. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> we would never have to worry about meat again. All right, so I'll have to figure out what I want to do with all of these. These holes are definitely kind of annoying. And you know what, guys? Actually, since it's day 41 and we've been averaging roughly around two days or so per episode, which means that the next episode is most likely going to be night 42 horde already. Like, holy crap, that's, that's pretty crazy, right? So I think what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to call this episode a little bit on the short side. I know, I know, it's it sucks. It's not an hour-long one like every other episode literally has been up until now. But I want your guys' feedbacks, okay? I want to see what you guys would suggest for down here. Should I leave these open so they're easier access? And it's easier to identify ones if they happen to get broken because a cop zombie's blowing up? Or... Should I do the whole... I guess, we'll, I guess we'll do this part right here real quick. 
So if we do this, we do on face. Oh, oh, never mind. I guess that don't stay, huh? Oh, shit. It stayed on the last one. What gives? All right, hold on. This might be a, a, a catastrophe here, guys. Ow, that hurt too. All right, never mind. I guess we can't do that. So... What the shite? Why did it work the last time, though? Is it because I cured the blocks or something? Oh, it's because there's a block right there holding it up. I see, and those two right there are holding it against each other. Okay, so that means we have to put plates down all the way around here in order for it to work. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. But you guys are going to have to let me know. And you'll have to let me know what your favorite light was. Is it the fluorescent? The fluorescent's actually pretty goddamn bright. <laughs> actually, no. They're about the same brightness, to be honest. To be, to be truthful in that, they're about the same brightness or so. Because it still makes it out to here. I think all the lights are bright. I think they're all the same brightness in that, except for the fact of how it's designed. Like, you've seen this one right here. It's a directional one. This one right here is kind of uh, maybe like an oval shape, how it goes out farther this way, but shorter out that way. The simple light is just one big circle, and it also lights the block that it's on. And the dome light still does the same brightness as all the other ones, but just doesn't light up the block it's on, so it gives it more of a decor kind of look. So I guess you guys have to let me know there. So, but anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you liked about the episode. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button, but make sure you let me know what you didn't like about it. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell. That way you are informed every time a video is released and you can be one of the first ones to watch it and drop a comment. But until the next video, guys, take care and take it easy.